at the moment I'm about 30 minutes from the forest. So if I was to run out of fuel at Belanglo, I'd either have to make a phone call or I'd have to travel 30, about 30 minutes to this service station. Still feels like somehow I am already at the forest. Like this service station is isolated. Cafe inside. gone past where I just want to show you guys there's so many fire trails so there's so many dirt roads this forest is so big you can easily get lost This has taken me an extra 45 minutes. I turned off to a place where I thought would come straight to where I'm meant to go, but there's just so many tracks. I didn't come with a map because I've been here before and I thought that I could recognize it. I turned off that I've never been before and I was gonna turn back, but I kept going. It just goes to show that it's so easy to get lost around here. So here, this is a memorial. Pay their respects to all the victims far off here where the police found the bodies, which is just a couple of meters down there. A couple of meters down that way, which I'll attempt to walk down there. This is Simone Smiddle. If we get a closer look at our, the names here, Caroline Jane Clark. Deborah Everest, James Gibson, Enja Hubschkin. Um, we got Gabe Kurt, Simone Loretas Middle, Joanne Walters. Supposedly, uh, Simone Smiddle's body was found. From what I can tell, from the maps, it was found just around here. Just gonna keep walking uh, further in here. Gonna work, walk further deep into um, this part. I actually want to see how far I can get just out of curiosity and I can tell you something now this place is definitely freaky place you could you could dump a body in and no one would know for a while I don't know where this goes but I'm just gonna see <laughs> all right I've come pretty far I, it kind of looks like a track for the cars. I'm pretty far from my car so I'm gonna head back. Really quiet. It's really cold. So where I'm standing now, a couple of meters up there, is where one body was found next to that body was another one found there so two bodies very close to each other were found right here 100 meters from where the bodies were found if you look in here this is really freaky you can go in here and you can keep going from the main area deep inside the forest I have no idea where this leads I don't know 
how far I want to get in there. I don't know what I will find in here. It's so dead. Wow. It just keeps going. Oh, what's this? I've spotted something. It kind of looks like a, uh, a beanie. Someone's beanie. The scary thing about being in here is not so much that someone's here, is it's it's more that um I don't know what I'll find in here and that is a scary thing. I don't wish upon myself to find something that I don't want to find. It's got me curious as to how many people actually come out here and if they do, like, what do they do? I don't think you'll find many people coming out here just to have a look. Okay, so I reached the point now where I'm not going any further, but back there, you could keep going and going. I haven't found anything interesting yet, besides that beanie. Very quiet. Very quiet. If you get a look, there's nothing here. So, I've just got out there. My car is like a hundred meters down. I don't know how I got off track. It's pretty funny. I actually thought for a second that someone's came and taken my car with a tow truck or something. Or some ghost has picked it up. I just got off track. But it's an interesting place. It's definitely, definitely exciting. So this is interesting. I'm assuming that all this used to be a massive forest just all along here, but it looks like they've burnt a lot of it down. Can you just see how big and isolated this place is? You can just keep walking further into the forest. You would have no idea what's inside or where you're going. And it just, I'm really fascinated about how big this place actually is.